the pandemic has made edtech companies boom in a way. And that might remain the case for a long time to come. My guest today shares her thoughts on how we can leverage technology to grow the edtech industry and educate our people better. We have a lot lined up for you. But first, some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trends, and I'm Chukomeka Agbata. We know that when it comes to technology and the economy, if you're not constantly moving forward, then without a doubt, you're moving backwards. Python, Java, JavaScript, Ruby are examples of special basic languages every programmer should know. They are used to develop software programs, scripts, and other sets of instructions for computers to execute. But these languages can seem a bit overwhelming and confusing for a newcomer. Now, with Yolang, a programming language designed to write small programs in Yoruba, Anuoluapo Karongwi makes learning to code easy for indigents of southwestern Nigeria. For every programming language, and whenever you're starting out, you do need some, some, of, some sort of guidance, right? And, um, the thing is with your language, when you see the keywords, like we have some keywords here that is um, she, which is an if statement in English. And when you read it uh, word after word, it sort of makes sense to you. You don't really have to think too much about the logic because you are reading it in your mother's tongue if you are the type that on the phone is better in your mother tongue like I am. The features in your uh, consist of basic features a programming language should have, like most the right programming languages. So, which is Jackie. The documentation is actually quite clear. So it takes a step by step in a sense, but just like every other programming language out there, you still have to have some small guidance on how to do things because the documentation of the language is just a documentation. Now building programs with that, you see no some small guidance, but it's easier because you are reading the syntax of your programming language in Yoruba, which is your mother's tongue. What were the hiccups he faced along the way? There were some things I had to do that required a lot of something we call recursion. So it's recursion at a very big level and wrapping my head around that was a bit confusing at the start. Then recursion then had backtracking with it for handling operator proceedings. So that was one challenge that was. Another challenge I faced um, was um, trying to get it to import other files within it. Uh, in a way whereby the file parts will not be difficult for the users of the language to understand and yeah, I passed that already. Anwoluwapo imagined people who think better in Yoruba would find it easy to understand programming as beginners if they could read the keywords in the language they were most familiar with. One thing I had in mind when I was creating this is to make it an educational tool, right? So for me, if we can, if I can get it to schools for kids that probably don't understand English all that too well but might want to be interested in programming for some reason. You never know until you, you get a shot and try. So using Yolan as um, a map for them to compare, they still have to learn the proper programming languages but getting into the programming space, understanding it in your mother's tongues can make it easier to understand the languages you want to do. Anu Oluwapo's aim is to ease the learning process of coding as well as prove that local languages can have a place in the technology sphere. Mm -hmm.